waiting on the old trust to <laughs> um, I'm getting there. Um, oh, that was really inspiring. No, I kind of thought it was the town for us today. Um, oh, the one closest to you. Um, so, so, microphone. Yes, that's what, that's what I'm doing. Um, so, I want to talk today about um, the ideas conceived between us. Um, Ghost Rock Company just did this piece called The Bargain and the Butterfly, and our photographer, Patty, chose some photographs she liked, chose on her own random lines of dialogue from the piece, attached them to the photos, created this beautiful set of images. And when we saw them, we were like, well, the ideas conceived between us, that pretty much describes what we do and who we are uh, as artists. And it was so incredibly fitting. Uh, and so what I sort of wanted to talk about today was uh, the idea of the pure artistic impulse. Now, Pure artistic impulse. When I use the word pure, I'm not talking about good, I'm not talking about value. I'm talking about uh, pure as in a, a, a glass of water that is, has nothing in it, that it's just one thing, it's a glass of water. Um, and when we do our work, our work comes from this impulse. It comes from a group of seven people who work as an ensemble, and who create our work together. And all of our work comes out of a burning question, an idea, a story that one of us wants to tell that the rest of us want to tell also. And it comes through questions. Um, there'll be a lot of questions in this talk. Um, and the questions that we ask are, what has come to us and, and, and our grown? from the community artists who make this work. That's what we do. Um, that's who we are and how we do it. And, and a number of years ago, when we were going through the questions that theater companies, especially theater companies that have a permanent space, ask themselves, well, I need to have, we, we need to develop capacity. We need to develop organizational capacity. We need to develop a plan. We need to find a permanent space. We need to get a better board. We need to be more like all these other theaters, which small theaters in Los Angeles, which are all modeled after regional theaters that were built 40, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Um, and we were talking to a very good friend of ours, Corbett Barkley, who said to us, she knows our work, she knows who we are, and she gave us probably the best piece of advice we ever got from anybody, which was, just do the art. The rest of it will take care of itself. But you guys, what you do is the art, that's who you are. And anything else you try to do, which is not coming from the art, is gonna not be real. It's not gonna be who you are. And it may mean that you will stay homeless as a company for the rest of your days. It may mean that your funding will always be tiny, it may mean that you will fight and scrap for every little bit of support you can get, but as long as you're doing the art you want to do, that drives you, that the reason that you are a company, an ensemble, then you're fine. You're fine. So for us, the question then became, well great, then if we're just going to do the art, if we're just going to focus on that, how do we begin? And we began by really just saying, okay, we'll find a space start talking, building, creating work, and looking for opportunities. What we've become has become more of, we'd like to think of ourselves at this point as being more like an indie rock band than a theater company. Um, it's, you know, we make our album in a basement, we play it for some friends at a party, we try to take it out on tour and play it in front of people, and we work on the next album. And then we still play the old album, we still play songs from the old album. Um, whenever we can, and that's how we live. And for us, it is, that's what I mean when I talk about the pure artistic impulse. Um, the garage band isn't trying to think, well, how am I gonna change, you know, how am I going to immediately develop an audience that doesn't like rock music and have them come see our shows? How am I going to change the music industry? They're just like, I got a song, I got a, 
we've got to write it, we've got to play it, we've got to perform it in front of 10 people, 20 people, 50 people, uh, you know, whoever, whoever wants to hear it. And if they dig it, great. That's what I talk about when I talk about this. So, in essence, uh, in this very, and it is about process, because in, you know, in this world we're also very product oriented. Um, our work is about process. Our work begins when we start talking about it, it continues until we present it in front of somebody, and it continues beyond that. It is, it is constantly evolving. It doesn't mean it's changing, but it's a constantly living, breathing thing. So it's about process. The process continues through performance, after performance, to the next performance. It continues forever, um, as long as we keep doing this work. And so the question I have that I ask when I've talked to my peers and colleagues about this is, is this a viable model? Is this not a viable model? Are we locked into trying to replicate something that we're not? And if so, why? And those are the questions I ask you to think about. Thanks.